Hello and welcome to Affordable Backyard University, where you will confidently learn how to purchase backyard home improvements the right way. Join us this week as we mosey off to McKinney, Texas, one of our favorite little towns, where we're going to show you a cute standalone covered western red cedar pergola sitting it's on its lone little concrete pad. And all of that's coming up next on Affordable Backyard Construction University. Hey guys, we are super excited to announce our new ebook, Affordable Backyard Construction Backyard Secrets. It's all the stuff most contractors wouldn't want you to know, and it's available free if you go to affordablebackyardconstruction.com. If you wait till the end of this message, or if you look down in the description, you'll find a link. Thanks a lot and hope you enjoy it. This family had a really great backyard, but one big problem. No shade. They had a big yard, but the problem was the way the porch is laid out, you couldn't always see the kids playing. So after hashing it around for a while, what we decided to do was build a playground command station out in the middle of the yard, or what we call a standalone pergola on a pad. So the job was going to have two parts. The concrete pad, the walkway back to the patio of the house, and then building the western red cedar structure on the pad. In this shot, we're looking out from the back door of the house. You can see the sidewalk going to the pergola and the pad. Let's start there. The concrete is four inches thick, and it's what we call broomed finish. If you look close, you can see the marks the broom left when they were finishing the concrete off. It gives you better traction, especially if you run around the yard when it's wet. One thing you can't see is a 3 8 inch rebar that's tied on 16 inch centers that's in the middle of that concrete pad. One other quick note, make sure your concrete comes from a concrete truck to make sure your mix is right and give you the best chance of having concrete that lasts a long time and doesn't crack. One last thing about the concrete, it has more to do with the pergola, but underneath each of those posts, all four of them, under that four inches of concrete, is a 12 inch wide by 18 inch deep concrete pier that actually is what gives the strength to hold that structure up. Like I said, the posts are 6 by 6 western red cedar. They sit on Simpson post bases, which are bolted to the concrete itself, which sits on top of those piers I told you about. So let's go take a look underneath next. This configuration is called open exposed beams as opposed to the tongue and grooves you've seen in some others that we've built. One of the big pluses is these are easy to add lights and stuff to. The negatives are it's a place for yellow jackets and wasps to build a nest and spiders and you gotta dust it occasionally too. The beams are 4 by 12 and you'll also notice that it is totally framed in western red cedar lumber too. Then you can see your roof decking above the framing and then on top of that you've got synthetic underlayment and high quality shingles. You know what that music means. It's time for me to shut up and let you walk this job and look at it one last time. Thanks for coming along and we can't wait to see you next week on Affordable Backyard Construction University. Pick a topic, click on it, and get started.